Hey there, neighbors. As you all know, on Wednesday, July 24th, our township supervisors voted two to one to deny the warehouse. This is the story the headlines told as well. However, hidden in the articles, or maybe not even reported in some articles, is the rest of the actions taken by the board. The board also voted two to one to consider this project a warehouse and not a truck terminal. It's important to know just how crucial that vote was. As we have stated all along, we know that this land is zoned industrial, and we even agreed that a warehouse is allowed on this land. What's not allowed on this land, though, is a truck terminal. And as we all know, that is exactly what was proposed, just not what was applied for. In the handful of letters and messages sent by our board leading up to this vote, they stated they simply cannot just deny this project because we don't like it. We need to have a reason because legally a warehouse can be built. Then in their denial vote, they gave zero legal reasons as to why they denied it. John denied it because he was worried about the trucks and Paul denied it because he had too many unanswered questions. Neither of those reasons will hold up in court on Petrucci's appeal and a judge is very likely to grant them approval to build their project. Now, we don't know why the supervisors voted the way they did in calling this a warehouse and not a truck terminal given our evidence, we don't know why our township solicitor decided to hold a formal hearing while only giving us two hours notice and essentially holding a kangaroo court. And we don't know if all of this was orchestrated to make an easy appeal for the developer. But what we do know is that from where we sit right now, Buckingham very likely has a 30 bay truck terminal headed its way because our township leaders voted to call it a warehouse instead of a truck terminal which it clearly is. We have an amazing community, one that we have been fighting for to try to keep safe from this project for over a year now, and we have done a really good job so far raising money and awareness, but now is where the rubber meets the road. After meeting with council, we can tell you we have a very good plan that we are confident that could completely stop this project in its tracks but we need your help to raise more money to make this happen. Unfortunately, at this point, this fight moves from the boardroom to the courtroom and from the community to the lawyers, and this is going to be very expensive. Our plan begins with our attorney serving as an intervener when the developer appeals the denial. It is vitally important to have someone that we undoubtedly know represents our best interests in the room and someone we know will use the evidence we provided to the township. It was very clear to us that we were treated unfairly in the supervisor's meeting. We were given no time at all to prepare cross-examination for witnesses, no time at all to prepare ourselves for cross-examination, and we were all scolded by Buckingham solicitor Craig Smith for objecting to this charade. We were then forced to wait three hours before presenting our case, and many of our neighbors that were there to support us or to speak themselves had already left. Leaving our case to someone like this to defend our best interests scares us and we don't want to leave our fate in his hands. We are also exploring several other strategies that look viable that I am not able to go into detail on yet, but all of this is going to require some serious fundraising and we need you. We are prepared to fight as long as you will allow us to fight. Please donate what you can to allow us to keep fighting this project together. We are not ready to give up and loathe the day that this developer puts the first shovel in the ground in Buckingham. Help us prevent this and please donate to this fight. We really need it. Please go to our GoFundMe page to make donations. And if you are able to donate $500 or more, please contact me directly to make a donation outside of GoFundMe to help us prevent paying any additional fees. Thank you so much.